Hello friends, Pastor Amy here from Southgate United Methodist Church. It is Wednesday, December 21st, and it's cold out there. Uh, it's all it's all of 15 degrees outside right now, thanks to my trusty app there. Tomorrow they're saying it's going to be a high of negative four. That's the high. It is super cold. But anyway, we're, we're going to keep on keeping on. I guess that's winter in Nebraska. Um, but yeah, so it's cold. Uh, sounds like perfect weather, though, for winter, stults, winter solstice, which is um, what today is, December 21st in the southern, in, no, where are we? We're the northern hemisphere. We're in the northern hemisphere, and it's the winter solstice. Uh, and winter solstice is when the sun travels the shortest distance uh, across, uh, shortest distance through the sky, resulting in the least amount of sunlight in the day. Um and therefore the longest night. Um, and, you know, Christianity doesn't have any specific observances for the, the celebrating the movements of all the orbs in the sky and such, but there is symbolic significance to celebrating the birth of Christ at this time of year. You know, we don't actually know the day that Jesus was born. Um, we don't know either the year or the time of year in which he was born. There are some guesses, uh, but nothing that is like universally accepted. Um, so why do we celebrate Jesus's birth on December 25th? Well, because someone in the Northern Hemisphere decided that that would be a good time of year to celebrate it, uh, both to, um, bring some Christian interpretation to some, uh, non-Christian celebrations some pagan celebrations in the Roman Empire at the time, but also because of the symbolic significance of the weather of, of, um, the, the solstice at that time. Um, you know, in uh, <clears throat> this time of year, the, the days are shorter, the nights are longer, there's there's less light, there's more darkness. And the symbolism of Jesus being, uh, being born, of celebrating Jesus' birth, right when that tide begins to turn, right when the days start being longer again, um, that is symbolically significant to us of who Jesus is for us, a light shining in the darkness, things that were hidden being revealed, God's love for humanity being revealed and glorified, uh, God's intention for humanity to live in love and peace uh, with one another. All of that is symbolized in celebrating Jesus's birth this time of year. Now, if you're living in the Southern Hemisphere, <laughs> right now they're celebrating the summer solstice, the longest day of the year. And uh, when that, that begins to switch the other direction. Uh, so that symbolism doesn't really apply. What's most important here isn't why we celebrate Jesus' birth on December 25th, but that we understand who Jesus was and is and allow that truth to change our hearts and lives for the better that we allow Jesus' li birth, life, death, and resurrection to change who we are for the better, um, that we follow Jesus' um, examples to, to love God and love our neighbor, uh, to provide uh, food for the hungry, water for the thirsty, to visit the sick and in prison, and all of those, um, that we advocate for justice, that we um, follow God's um, preference for the poor and, and try to make the lives of, of everyone better. Um, that, that is who Jesus was and represents. And, and as we celebrate his birth, we also celebrate, um, those, those concepts, uh, and that way of living. So anyway, um, I hope y'all are staying warm out there. Uh, we are planning on having Christmas Eve services on Saturday at three and at six, um, depending on the weather, come only if you are safe and able to do so, we will also be live streaming it. So however you are able to join us, we hope that you will. Uh, remember that God loves you, so do I, and I'll see you Saturday and Sunday. Take care.